Good morning, everyone. I was the first one to have breakfast in the morning today. So, no one else has come yet. If I have a little later time, I can talk many foreigners here. Today, I will take a bus tour to the Cotswolds. So, I'm heading to the meeting place at Victoria Station by Tube. I think this is my third time to come to this station. I was going to visit Westminster Abbey from this station last year. But I went to Westminster Cathedral by mistake. Victoria Station is the second busiest London terminus. And here's a major hub rail station. You can go to Gatwick Airport by Gatwick Express from here. And you can go Dover, Southampton too. Of course, the underground sea lines and bus are also connected from here. There are many grocery stores and restaurants at this station. This time, I decided to go to the Cotswold by bus tour. One of my English school teachers is from the Cotswolds. He said that the bus tour is easier to go to Cotswolds, so I took a bus tour, but I was late to apply for it. I could be reserved on the Japanese bus tour this time. It was funny to see many Japanese people gathering at Victoria Station in London. But I was not happy to be with Japanese people in London. A Japanese woman talked to me before getting on the bus. She asked me, Are you traveling alone? I'm alone too. Nice to meet you. When she found out I was traveling alone, she seemed happy. I only say hello to her, then sat in a separate seat from her. Another woman in the front seat also talked to me when I was sitting. She also seems to travel alone. She said, if the two loud seats are full, could I sit next to you? I answered her, of course, but she didn't come next to me because she could use a uh, two low sheets alone. It takes about two hours by bus from London to Cotswolds. The bus is heading to the suburbs. I could see cows and sheep sometimes. There are no mountains in England. That's interesting for me. The bus arrived at last area about an hour later. There are some sweet shops and Starbucks. The break time was only 15 minutes. I tried to buy latte at Starbucks for the first time in the UK. I have seen it on Nickelback's music video about Western Cafe staff write customer's name on a paper cup. I was happy to have a paper cup written with Tomoko. And I also happy that I could buy latte smoothly in the UK's Starbucks. However, when I returned to the bus with a latte, a Japanese tour guide said, you cannot bring drinks other than plastic bottles into the bus. Oh my
my god! I slept a little on the bus, so I didn't hear the guide's attention. The guide said, Drink the latte outside the bus or throw it away. It's a hot latte. It's hard to drink everything right away. It's already time for the bus to depart. I drank just a little of a latte and then throw it away. We visit four famous villages in the Cotswolds. It seems that we arrived at the first village of the Cotswolds. The first village is Burford. There are 17th and 18th century British houses. To an old church called St. John the Baptist Burford. I saw a beautiful Western old architecture that was completely different Japan. One of the things I love about UK is that the flowers displayed in the city are so beautiful. They are not expensive flowers, but the color scheme of the planted flowers is wonderful. It seems that British people prefer brightly colored flowers. London is also very stylishly decorated with dark red, dark pink, and purple flowers.
The next village is Bible. Bible is praised as the most beautiful village in the UK. Arlington Law, representing the landscape of the village, was built in the 14th century when it flourished as a production area of wool. The village's low roof and gabled house are symbols of the Cotswolds style. Here, the guide walked me through the walk course. I didn't like walking in groups, so I walked in the opposite direction. But when I walked a little, nobody was gone, and I was worried. When I was looking for someone who came from the same tour bus, I found two women. Women who were participating in the tour alone. They were walking on the road from the opposite direction as I was. They seemed to have lost their way. However, I feel a little relieved to know that. I am not alone. Then, we decided to go back to bus together. The next village is Bodong on the water. There are several restaurants and attractions here. One of the women traveling alone said, Would you like to go for lunch together? We are all alone. What would you like to have? I said, I want to eat pasta at an Italian restaurant. I already had fish and chips the day before. And the guide said, here's a delicious Italian restaurant. I was a little tired of eating bread. So, I wanted to eat pasta with tomato sauce. But the other woman said, We haven't eaten fish and chips yet. Let's go to the pub. I didn't want to eat fish and chips this day. But I thought, it's hard to go to a pub alone. This is a chance to enter the pub. Maybe there are other menus besides fish and chips. So, I decided to go eat with the other two women. They ordered fish and chips, but there's no pasta. I ordered a pie with tomato sauce flavored beans. As you know, pubs are ordered and paid at the counter. But one woman can speak English for 40 years abroad. She ordered everything. There is no cocktail in the pub. I drank cola because I don't like beer. The amount of British cuisine is large. Does the British really eat this food alone? I can't eat so many green peas. In the end, we left over half of each dish. During lunch, we were talking about each other's journey. They looked like European travel experts. One woman likes fairy tales, and she visits a place that appear in the story. This time, she came to country of Peter Rabbit. I told them that I came to England twice, and I love castles. Anyway, we talked a lot about overseas travel, so I forgot to take a video at the pub. We came to the last village, Stow on the Wood. Here, we saw a porch house that was certified at the oldest hotel in England. And we visited famous chocolate company and antique shop. I don't 
don't like bus tours because the time is limited. My English is not good. But I really enjoy talking with people in English. It's fun to make friends with Japanese people abroad. Of course, they are nice people. But I thought it would be better not to be with a good Japanese. Fun improve my English. By the way, the bus back to Victoria Station. I said goodbye with Japanese tourists. Then, I went to Italian restaurant in Covent Garden for pasta that I couldn't eat at lunch. I was hungry for spaghetti.